and the one you're looking for the messiah is here shalom peace be upon you from the father of ibram isaac and jacob my prayer goes to all the way from louisiana to new york to new jersey I have so much things to tell you but it is very hard for you all to comprehend there are a lot of things that you cannot comprehend me and I cannot comprehend you as you know in the bible says the prophet is honored everywhere else other than his own hometown and with his own family i have the same problem and same hardship as what jesus used to have now every time i come i try to give you a small testimony again i like to go over all over that because every time new people watch they couldn't they cannot understand me unless my testimony so june of 1999 son of man remember i'm telling you son of man come from above in the cloud and rest upon me and that's how everything started and i was caught up in several time in heaven and i got thora uh and they told me to digest i digest also i caught up in in uh, uh heaven uh front of the uh, satan and uh, angels and the father and they rebuke the angels uh, angels i mean uh, satan wanted few more weeks more times and all the angels told father to rebuke him so all those things happen in my life and when it came to the daniel chapter i realized that i am a daniel the daniel from the dead that's who i am now remember there are i told you several time that the whole prophecy didn't end in the five chapter of moses or five chapter of tora and i always tell you genesis 49:10 uh uh to uh, number 24:17 also uh, you go back to then uh, uh samuel 2 uh 7 <coughs> and then the king and the daniel now if you if you understand this scriptures the when uh the god gave it to prophet nathan and this is what exactly he said let's read then uh, uh 2 samuel 7 2 samuel 7 to Samuel 7 well this is what it says uh, on the uh, the prophecy let me see i'm coming close to Samuel 7 this is what the lord says are you the one to build me a temple to live in i have never lived in a temple from the day i brought you the israel israelite out of the egypt until now my home has always been a tent so this is what samuel told king david <clears throat> and now the lord declared that he will build the house for you a dynasty of kings for when you die i will raise up one of your descendant and i will make his kingdom strong he is the one who will build a house a temple for my name and i will establish the throne of his kingdom forever i will be his father and he will be my son this is what exactly i want you to understand when he said that i will be his son 
and uh, uh, I will be, he will be my father and he will be my son. That's what is very important in this chapter. So do it is very important in the Daniel chapter. So do it is very important in New Testament chapter 5. If you understand chapter 5 of a John chapter 5 and the Daniel 7, 9, 7, 13 and, and the 2 Samuel 7, 13, you will, if you put all together, you will understand who I am. I am the one you are looking for. I am the one to build the temple as the Nathan told David, one of your descendants, not one of the descendants, but one of from his own seed, from his own loin, from his own blood and flesh. That's what he is talking about. And there is a Daniel. So if you understand the son and father relationship, I will be the son of the father in heaven. And he will be my father. Also, my earthly father is King David. I hope you understand that part. So I can go back to the Daniel now. Now Daniel 7, 9 and 7, 13. This is what Daniel 7, 9 and 7, 13 is talking about. So you will understand. Okay, so let's go to 7, 9 and 7.13. First of all, 7.13, because this is what exactly happened. As my vision continued that night, I saw someone look like man coming with the cloud of heaven. Remember, son of man, son of man, remember again, son of man coming in the cloud. He approached the ancient one and led him into his prison. Why am I telling you I am the ancient one? Because first of all, he came to me. I didn't go to him. He came to me from above. That makes me an ancient one because he came from up and it says he approached the ancient one. And ancient one and was led into his presence and he, he rest upon me. He was given authority, honor, and royal power, which is exactly what then uh, uh, King David uh, received the message from the God that he will be on the throne forever and ever and ever. And that's what the Daniel 7.13 is talking about, that ancient one and was led into his presence he was given authority honor and royal power over all the nations of the of the world so the people of every every race remember every race not only jew every race including jew and nations and language would obey all the language him his rule is eternal it will never end his kingdom will never be destroyed so remember this ancient one got all the authority all the authority now look what happens now the ancient one is going to sit down on the throne he see he see the vision that ancient one sit down on the throne now look at this one so let's go to 7 9. I watch as the throne were put in the place, and the ancient one sat down to judge. His clothing was white as snow, his hair like a white as wool. You can see my hair right now. He is set on the fiery throne with a wheel of blazing fire, and river of the river of fire flowing from his presence. Millions of angels ministered to him and hundred million stood front of him. Then, then the court began to session and 
the book were open remember his kingdom will be forever i will be judging the people the ancient one will be judging the people the ancient one is now is the son of man remember it's not the same but the daniel from the dead the ancient one because ancient one means somebody been born in in past antique something old that's what the daniel is because god promised daniel on 12 13 look at this this is what god told me as for you because daniel was asking all the time you are showing me all these visions about the end time but you not telling me when so god told him as for you go your way until the end you will rest at the end of the days you will rise again to receive your inheritance what is his inheritance the king david his father left him the kingdom or god had promised him that your son your loin from the your own loin your seed he is the one will be on the throne for ever and ever which is exactly same thing in 79 uh, daniel uh, 79 713 1213 even though 1213 i'm going to go on the resurrection of the dead that also on the 12 chapters you know that daniel talk about that exactly you will hear what the jesus said in the new testament when you read the john chapter i am just going to tell you one thing only the whole john chapter is either the whole scripture is pointing to me now christians going to have a hard time to understand this christians will have a hard time but i'm going to explain to them the son of god and the son of man that god he used in chapter 5 of john that will make you understand but over here in the old testament if you read the 2 samuel 7 uh, uh, and then and 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 the daniel chapter you understand that where am i going first of all the son of man came from the cloud now if you go into the new testament jesus said i am the only one can came from above and i am the only one can go up also he said that all the judgment god leave it up to his son i'm going to read that scriptures right now uh, and then uh, then you understand i'm going to put the computer on and i will go through that so you can listen this the scriptures and then we talk about to make you understand chapter 5 let's All go the more to kill him not only was he breaking the sabbath but he was even calling god his own father making himself equal with god jesus gave them this answer very truly i tell you the son can do nothing by himself he can do only what he sees his father doing because whatever the father does the son also does for the father loves the son and shows him all he does yes and he will show him even greater works than these so that you will be amazed for just as the father raises the dead and gives them life even so the son gives life to whom he is pleased to give it moreover the father judges no one but has entrusted all judgment to the son you see what he said the father did not judge nobody he left everything to son and remember what in the in the 2 uh, samuel 7 said that i am that person his son uh, the whoever that god had promised he is the one going to judge so to the same person as the ancient one remember again i'm telling you so who's his son because god told he will be my son and i will be his father now listen more that all may honor the son just as they honor the father whoever does not honor the son does not honor the father who 
Now, same thing what he said to all the Christians, I'm telling you all the Jew, that God has sent me to you right now. You need to believe. God has made me his son. I am his son. Now, you believe me or not, if you want to go to the promised land, as he said, you better believe me and honor me. Remember when I came, to Chabad house in 770, I was not honored. You all remember how you have, I never said any word because they knew no nothing. They didn't know who I am. And they did disrespect, disrespect me, but I asked my father to forgive you. My, I asked my father to forgive you, but I don't know. It's all up to God. But let's l listen more stuff so you will know what I'm talking about. Sent him. Very truly I tell you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be judged but has crossed over from death to life. Very true. Now let me tell you, all these things he is talking, again Christian won't understand and they won't believe because I'm, gonna, I'm going over there. That time they will understand what I'm talking about. That Jesus was talking about me. Jesus was talking about me. Even though he said he's coming back. I'm going to show it to you how he can come back. And how he go up and down. I will explain to you that one. So let's read more stuff over here. Truly I tell you, a time is coming and has now come when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God. Okay, here the, the dead will hear the, the voice of the Son of God. Remember, God, I am Son of God because God made me His Son. I am the Ancient One. I am, He said that I am the Son of King David. And he will be, God will be my father also, and I will be his son. So he says that when they will hear my voice, what, when you accept me, we will have the resurrection of the dead also. They will hear my voice. The next thing. And those who hear will live. For as the father has life in himself, so he has granted the son also to have life in himself. So what he's saying, remember when he, when he died and rose again, that's what Jesus, uh, happened to Jesus. Now, if you read Revelation chapter, the two prophets will die and rose again. They will also go up there. Now, remember only Jesus is the one said, I came from above and I am the only one can go up. Now, we're going to go and see now what is Son of Man and Son of God. Let's, let's read more. And he has given him authority to judge because he is the Son of Man. He is the Son of Man. He is the Son of Man. Listen. And God has given him all the authority. Son of Man. Okay? So, he doesn't say Son. That time he says Son of Man. Be because I'm born of the man. Do not be amazed at this. For a time is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done... Whose voice? Son of man. Whose voice? Son of man. And they are will rise again. And what is good will rise to live. And those who have done what is evil will rise to be condemned. By myself, I can do nothing. I judge only as I hear, and my judgment is just. For I seek not to please myself, but him who sent me. I came to you all. I came to you all in Chabad house because he told me to go. Wherever he sent me, I listened to him and I go. And I did my work. Now listen more. If I testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies in my favor. And I know that his testimony about me is true. You have sent to John, and he has testified to the truth. 
Not that I accept human testimony, but I mention it that you may be saved. John was a lamp that burned and gave light, and you chose for a time to enjoy his light. I have testimony weightier than that of John. For the works that the Father has given me to finish, the very works that I am doing. Uh, my work is to take you back to Israel. Take back to the promised land all the, all the righteous ones that God has chosen. The righteous people from the, the, uh, the tribes. All of them, I need to take you back home, build the third temple. That is my work, and that's why I, God has sent me. Now listen Testify more. Testify that the Father has sent me, and the Father who sent me has himself testified concerning me. You have never heard his voice, nor seen his form, nor does his word dwell in you. I have seen, and you have not seen. And the word is not dwelling you, and the, all the word is pointing to me. For Next. you do not believe the one he sent. You study the scriptures diligently because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me. Yet you refuse to come to me to have life. I do not accept glory from human beings, but I know you. I know that you do not have the love of God in your hearts. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me. But if someone else comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe, since you accept glory from one another, but do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? But do not think I will accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses. Because Moses told you. Moses told you that God will raise the prophet like me among you. He is the one going to accuse you. Now, if you read this chapter, you will understand who I am. Now, now like Christians going to have a hard time, but let me tell you one thing. Let's... It is very complicated, but if you understand, let's see if the Jesus died and rose again, and he was born of the virgin. Okay, that makes him totally different than anybody else. Then he died and rose again, and he went up there, and he's the only one can come up and down. So now he is second Adam. Let's put as a second Adam, the first Adam, born of the flesh, second Adam, born of the spirit. So he was just a born of the spirit. And then he went up there and then he can, only God can do the things that we cannot understand. And so when he went up there, he is right there as a son of man. And that son of man came in the cloud and rest upon me in a different flesh. In a different flesh, which is he had promised Daniel. So that spirit is upon me. I am Daniel. I am not Jesus, but I have the spirit of whoever went up there, came down and rest upon me. I am that son of man. The son of man is a rest upon me. I am from the dead, from the Daniel, because I know what exactly happened the day he rest upon me. When he came in the cloud and rest upon me, my old spirit gone. And the new spirit came upon me. And I started jumping and dancing. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And only thing was coming out, build my house, build my house, build my house. That's how I know I need to build the temple. That's how I know I need to take all the Israeli back. That's how I know I am the anointed one. That's how I know that I am the son of King David. And I know that I am to come and take over the kingdom, which is my inheritance. Now, after this, if you cannot comprehend what I'm trying to tell you, 
you never will understand because two prophet will die and rose again in the revelation chapter that will start if they do not put me on my place that means they will put the wrong person to build the temple which is not going to happen but sure in the end to let the whole world know with whose power these two men die and rose again remember i told you act 1751 let's read you will know what i'm talking about is it is yes this is what it says for he has set a day for judging the world with justice by the men by the men he doesn't they doesn't say jesus over there remember it doesn't say jesus it says the men if paul knew it that he would he knew jesus he would have wrote it down jesus but look what he says for he has set a day for judging the world with the justice by the man he has appointed who's appointed god have appointed and he prove in every one who there is by raising him from the dead so in the end you all will know the whole world will know that with whose power this two prophet is die and rose again out of these two only the one person the son of man came from above and rest upon him he is the only one can go up but he has a power to take the other one so this is what exactly i'm trying to tell you now let's go to the different topic today's revelation is enough because you cannot digest i can give you so much things now let me tell you if you jew or muslim or hindu if you are wise you will read the new testament you will because that will give you a lot of knowledge and understanding of what's coming no matter who you are what they are teaching you your rabbi or your or uh, whatever you call uh, your preacher pastor uh, i want you to read especially john chapter then you will understand what he's talking about the born again remember even as i say you have to circumcise you have to circumcise by your heart not by flesh time is near time is near i am here to all the jewish uh, uh family the friends brother and sister i am telling you if you are brainwash of those rabbis they been telling you that i believe whole world will know of course whole world will know the day i will be on my throne or the day you will see me on my throne the whole world will know but you have a chance to put me and you will know first that your moshiach is here because you are the one expecting your moshiach first because christians are believing jesus will come in the end now of course they they believe pre rapture and and they think that they won't be here when the jesus came okay now he said that whole world will see him so he has to come back again in the cloud from up there to down to let the whole world know now when he came to me that was on the that was in the middle now you will see the end so please even you are christian going to the church don't listen to your pastor what it says only read 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 and your eyes will open your eyes will open compare me and put me and see this what is he is talking about to profit 
why they can go up there when he said he's the only one can came from above and he's the only one can go and he's the can lay down his life for himself because God have guaranteed him. If you understand all this thing, then you won't be thinking about pre-rapture. You will be waiting to see the glory of God. And you all will see the glory of God when the temple will be built. Till that, no. Now let me tell you, uh, the, uh, whoever is right now claiming to be a Jesus or claiming to be a Moshiach, other than me, I'm telling you to get out. Get out from the YouTube, because you are nothing but a false prophet. So I'm telling you today, stop lying. Stop lying. And let me tell you, I don't see anybody, but they are act like when they send the message, or they think they know much more than me. No, they don't. Because they cannot comprehend what happened to me and your eyes cannot be open without the Spirit of the Lord rest upon you. So one thing, get out. Stop lying. Second thing, to all the Jewish young children, young kids, listen to my video. Watch my video. Things gonna change. The whole world will change. I am here. I am here. Write me. Put thumbs up. Talk to me. Push this thing to all the way, to all over the world. Do whatever you all can do. Remember your Rabbi said, Rambam said that I did everything I could do to bring the Moshiach. And he did. He gave you the message. The Moshiach is coming. He told you the Moshiach is, Moshiach is here. When he will come, you will see the earthquake, you will see the fire, you will see uh, uh, the tornadoes, you will see the hurricanes, you will see the war of weapons, you will see the rumor of wars. We, you see all the sign. I am here. It only you have to accept me by the faith, just like they accept Jesus by the faith. Blessed are those who have not seen and believed. In your case, God has given you your son. God has sent like a Moses, the prophet. God has sent you from your Old Testament, the, the Daniel from the dead, to let you all know. Because that's what even in New Testament, when the, uh, the, the poor man, the beggar was sitting outside and he ended up in heaven and the rich man was end up in hell and he told him and he told the father no they're not gonna believe unless you send somebody from the dead I am from the dead I am the Daniel I'm not telling you I'm Jesus I am your Moshiach I am the one to take you to Israel to the promised land, to you and your children. But remember, two-thirds of the people will be cut off. I am talking about there will be only one-third righteous people. And even though it says in Zechariah, one Jew will hand the ten Gentiles, and the ten Gentiles will tell the Jew that God is with you, <clears throat> and we want to walk with you. And it says if the people don't come to the worship, they would not have no rain and the food. The whole world will come to worship one God. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Things are coming. I told you, things are coming. This is nothing. This is nothing. This is big. This is very big what happened to the Chabad house. In whole New York, you see the Chabad house is going down. Completely. The worship area is gone. This is big. When I say something big is coming, that's big. But just wait what's coming. This is nothing. This is nothing. This is to make you repent. Repent. Believe me. And treat the prophet right. 
treat everybody right. You are not superior. You are not better than others. Like I told you, I, I born in India in a Hindu family, and I told you that most of the Hindu are Jew because God promised Abraham that your descendant will be as many as the star of the sky, sand of the sea, and the dust of the earth. I can go on and give you scriptures after scriptures, just like those others are, but they memorize everything. I don't have to memorize. I only have to come whatever he tells me at that time. It just comes out. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Everybody, all the Jewish people, get. let's get ready. I told you, the day the five million Jews leave America, the whole world will shake. But if you don't, again, there are a lot of people not because of the uh, lust of the money and lust of this world. Remember, he says, if you cling to this world, you will lose it. But you give up for my sake, for your son, you will have it in abundance. You will have eternal life. That's what God wants to give you, eternal life. Remember, when David's son died, he was mourning. When he was sick, he was mourning. And then he died. He said, this is what he said. Uh, he, start, and he started eating and he came out. He took shower and, and got clean and and then uh, they were all wondering what happened, why now he's not mourning. And he said, well, uh, uh, he is gone. He cannot come to me, but one day I will go back to him. But he didn't say the day of the re resurrection. He just said that I will die and my spirit will go up there. Also, or you can say yes, on the resurrection of the day, he will be with him. So, Torah also talk about resurrection of the death in the Daniel. Also, Jesus talk about resurrection of the death. Also, he said, you will see what the Daniel, the prophet, talk about. Because he knew the next life or next time when he will come, he will be a Daniel. So I can say that I am not Jesus, I am Daniel. So that way, you Jew needs to understand how everything works. You cannot comprehend me, and I cannot comprehend you because you don't want to listen, because you do not have the word in your, in your heart. <clears throat> you all... Do not read everything. Nobody read the Bible. Nobody have complete knowledge. They just listen to other people. And, and they believe them. But the one who sent you from the God, you don't believe him. It's time for you to believe me now. It's time for you to get together now. It's time for you... To come to know the truth, and truth will set you free. I want you to watch my all the video. Please, whoever watch this video, watch again and again my past video, and you will understand that where I am going, or you won't understand because every video I have put a new revelation. Today's revelation that I gave you, it's very hard to comprehend. But if you read what I told you, uh, 2 Samuel 7, uh, uh, the Daniel 7, 9, 7, 13, 12, 13, and then you go back to John 5. Actually, if you read the John whole chapter, you will understand what he is talking about. And then in the end, you will see that he said he will come in the cloud. That will also happen after the two prophets will die and rose again. 
Now all these Christians, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, yes, you will be mocking me. But I told you I'm not Jesus. But you need to understand the, the, the way the Bible is. Your pastor cannot give you this revelation. So understand this revelation and realize what I'm telling you. There is no rapture coming up right now. There is no pre-rapture. Everybody is same and everybody deserves the same. Yes, <clears throat> you've been saved by your faith. But the God glory, the whole world will see, not only you. Everybody will see who believes in God. There is a God. And whoever believes, they will see his glory. And he will forgive those ask for forgiveness. God bless you. I want you to, again, remember, do whatever you can do, wherever you are, wherever you are, you want to let everybody know who I am, what I am, that I am here, and things are coming. Bigger thing is coming. Your Moshiach is coming. They're going to have to put me, or my God, my Father, He will put me. Thank you very much. You very God bless you. And I'm coming to Jerusalem very soon. If you want me to come to your town. I know we do not have too much time. But if you invite me to come and preach or talk about it, you can always write me. And if you arrange, I will come. But we do not have too much time, so I'm not sure it will happen or not. But God will, I'm ready. Thank you and God bless you again.